In this video, Administrating Skype for Business Server 2015, we'll be using the administrative tools to manage Skype for a business server. And I'm going to call it Skype for Business as SFB throughout this video. So using, I've already installed the administrative tools on the desktop. And so we're going to enable a user for SFB and then all the members of an OU for SFB. So I'm clicking on Skype for Business here. Let me go into the control panel. And I'm going to pick Administrator as the login. So let's just take a look at here. I'll just try this one right here. Administrator. So now I'm going to do is click on the Users tab. I'm going to enable Users. I'm going to Add. I'm going to type in Carol. Carol Troop there. Find. Great. Once I found her, then I click OK. So I'm enabled her. Now we're assigning users to a pool. I'm going to select pool at datum.com. You can see the options for the SIP, URI, email, UPN, different format, like depending on what your company uses. And this. And I'm just going to go then enable. Yes. And you can see that Carol is enabled. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to enable all the members of an OU for SFB. I'm going to click on enable users. Right here, I'm going to add. I'm going to add a filter. We're going to pick the department is equal to IT. And click find. This shows all the ones right here. And to select them all, Control A should work. I've selected them all, and I'm going to say OK. So as you can see, all these ones here I have enabled. Now, the, these users right here, though, the pool that I want them to be on, are a pool.adatum.com. I'm going to examine all this, and I'm going to click on Enable. I'm going to search for Don Funk. In here, you can find. Notice he's enabled because all the ones in IT, yeah, this guy is in the IT department. So this one right here. Yeah. Let's see if it says his department. Over here. I'm going to get rid of his name, and when I do is, on this one right here, I cleared it, and then I'm going to do is this, fine, this will show all the enabled users. So all these ones are right here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Skype for Business Management Show. I'm going to validate group members. 
Naval uses for Skype for business and, and validate that confirm. Now on London DC1, we go to the ADUC, expand it. Managers, now you can just see other ones in here. Now let's just take a look at one of these managers here. Let's view his group membership on this one right here. He's a member of domain users and managers. And I also want to do is this, just take a look at also Bill Mahoney, Maloney, sorry. He's also a member of the managers group. So I'm going to go back to London CL1 right here. And I'm going to enable users for Skype for business. So this time I'm going to use a different tool. Remember, we, let's take a look what else is here. Skype for Business, and one of them should be the Skype for Business Management Shell. I'm going to enter various PowerShell commands to enable that or an OU. So I'm entering in these series of commands, setting some environment variables, so to speak, in PowerShell. Filling in these ones, and then we'll run some commands on here. I'm going to do one more variable, and then I'm going to run a for loop on it. So we'll see some action. Well, let's see if I got this right. If I made an error, my bad on this. Identified in this one right here. Okay, now I'm going to do is this. It says two users weren't okay for each one of them, but for managers, because remember, we were saying is on this is that the, uh, the group was the managers group, right? So everyone in the, is a member of that, but uh, for each one, we enable them for Skype for Business. Except for these two were not changed already. They were already enabled on that. So let's go back and take a look here. Let's look at the users. We click off that just to refresh it. So I'm validating the configure. I'm going to click users and then go find. Now notice that all these ones in here, Aiden Delaney now, and Bill Malone are now there because remember they're part of the manager. So as you can see, I validated it. This concludes with using the administrative tools to manage Skype for Business Server. In the next video, I'm going to do is use this SFB troubleshooting tool.